and welcome, Neil Ellis here from Tights TV. How's it going? I hope uh, this weekend's a bit more better with the victory against Bolton at FA Cup away. And what's got to be fair to be said, a bit miserable conditions, it, you know, rain, wind, you know, terrible conditions, but we come away with a, a victory. think the... You know, the lineup were a pretty strong lineup to be fair. And when I did my predicted starting eleven, you know, we could all kind of see that Jack Walton's gonna be the cup gamekeeper. Having said that, he did play a pretty strong lineup, which I'm pleased to see. Sometimes you can, you know, tinker about too much in cup games, but it will you know, you've got Williams and back three war, Edwards, Anderson, Kitchen. With Nicky Cadden at back, so a pretty strong lineup. That you could have like probably changed it about a bit, you know. You could have brought Kundi in, you could have brought uh Zaid Laresh in the left wing back, but he didn't. He kept it as it was midfield, and again, another area that could have tinkered with it a bit. Um, again, bringing in Phillips, and obviously, we're getting about goal a bit later on, you know, Connell Kane. Phillips and then up front, Ted Itch and Cole, which I think complement to one another well. Uh, Slobodan were doing like dirty work as in holding it up and chasing it down, being a nuisance, whereas Cole and that were running into areas and creating space. So we'll get on about, you know, a bit of players and that as we go along. I thought when it first started, I thought, I thought it was still a bit... Uh, I thought we had best to play, to be fair. I thought we, you know... His back line looks very, very structured and organised. I mean, the amount of sides we, we played against them, it must have been, I don't know, seven, eight, if not more. And again, I think it was a well-drilled unit, as in the all understanding of the role at back. Yeah, they had a couple of goals ruled off for offside. Linesman, I've got to give credit to Linesman for that because he were actually keeping up with play. Referee, again, poor refereeing. Don't want to make a show about refereeing, but some of the standards, some of you know, free kicks and back what we're getting conceded are stupid. And the amount of times Cole got in good positions and he was going down, it's like, why would he go down in that position when he was, it there was no advantage whatsoever? To, he was, you know, he were on his way and we're getting soft, soft free kicks away. But having said that, it was. I sent it well, and I was sat me uh, quite a few people sat me ready as well, and we both agreed it, it looked a bit more open game than compared to the, the league game for both sides. If I'm being honest, we both tried playing ball into certain areas, whereas in league game it seemed to be a a bit of a void match, cancelling one another out. And this one, though, whether it conditions played a part in that, you know, wet grass a bit more slicker with conditions as well. But I thought we adapted. And if I'm being honest, had Walton been much troubled? I don't think he would have to make a dive to get his <clears throat> excuse me, get his top monkey out like that. I don't think he really had to call into action for stuff. So again, some of the conditions I I I improved with Walton's free uh, kicking as well. It won't low and on ground. It won't up in it there and either going out of play or what. But in them kind of conditions, you don't want to like scuff it in bad conditions and, you know, potentially lose possession. Going on to goal, I mean, Nicky Cadden, a wicked, wicked cross, crossing and we, well, we are our, we, we were. At first, it just like looked surreal, it looked slow motion. I didn't know, I thought Slobodan had got it, but apparently it's been given as an own goal. But what a ball, it was whipped in that in conditions. So it was an inviting ball. Going one note up, when Phillips catching it to half volley, that one absolute cracker of a goal. That cracker of a goal. Um, I've only seen it once on highlights, um, but I'd have caught it. Was sweet and going two out up. If I'm being honest, could we could we have probably got probably another one, another goal, a bit more in front. I think we could have done, but a two out cushion going in. You know what we're going to happen in second half then from Bolton and they did try to get it to us you know some crosses going in we're handling it well 
No, uh, no, no, we don't bench. So you like been looking at options for who we later find out is going to be out for about four weeks, I believe. But having said that, I thought players that actually came on on the mark, when pressed on the mark, he came on, he made a presence known. And I think every every man what came on, they all did the job. Um Nicky Cadden again when he were getting substitute uh, substitute off. Referee wanted to walk around. He was getting a bit of verbals from the from the Bolton fans, but when he come round to us, he you know it was nice to see that passion and that fate. And again, it was good to see that all over the pitch. Luke O'Connell, uh, one of his players had gone down. I forgot who it was in the second half, and it was some tackles going in. And Bolton players obviously they wanted to get cracked on with it and get it moving, but. There's a way of doing it. You could tell frustration was creeping into Bolton side. You could tell we Ian Everett because he got a ticking off from the from the ref. You know, so you could tell, you know, they weren't happy, weren't best pleased. So when you see that fate and that spirit by bounds the players at management, you know, set up staff and everything like that, getting towel to coffers and stuff like that, like, come on. You could tell they were, they were rattled, but at the end of the day, we went, we did a job. We're into the next, uh, you know, next uh, draw. We're into the next round. I'll be doing an FA Cup uh, special for that as well with a guest on. Uh, so please join me for that on Monday. I think it, I think going to be starting around about 6.45. It will be live. And I've got a, a, a special guest on if it all works out and we'll be previewing, having a discussion about what's gone off recently and also the FA Cup draw. For me, personally, my man at match, I think it's going to be hard this because I thought Kitchen also had a good game at back. I think there's a few in contention for this, but it's it's a really hard one to pick out. Um, and I know there's like a bit of a split. There's not a divide, but a bit of a split with a different opinion on here. But... I think for his goal and how he put his centre back in midfield, I'm just going to get Phillips, just Phillips, man at match. Also in contention for me was uh, Liam Kitchen. I thought Liam Kitchen had a very good game. He was covering it. When Nicky Cadden, I was watching Kitchen a lot. And when Nicky Cadden was bombing forward to try and get that danger of presence, like uh, similar to Williams at back, at right wing back, the amount of times Liam Kitchen covered a lot of ground. He not only were doing his position at centre back, but he were also covering left wing back position as well. So, and again, when Williams were bombing forward, a player would always to drop him there, whether it be Luke O'Connell, they all moved over one. So, it, it were a well drilled, it were a well structured side, and it were pleasing to see everybody knew the role, everybody were up for it. I'm not saying that they haven't been before, but there's work in progress here. And you can tell certain things what's been worked. Well, I, well, I could. I don't know if anybody, you know, what's gone to the game, whether you, you see, you all saw something different, you all saw a bit, particular area. I was trying to pick out key areas. But in the first half, I was like looking at the, our, our defensive unit. Um, I was structured, how it was working out, how people were dropping into certain areas. And then what I also noticed in, in the second half, when we were attacking to us, when Bounds were attacking to us, sorry. I will also keep an eye on how we were coping in the midfield area and the attacking and the amount of running off at ball, what Teddy were doing, uh, running into the ground. Devante Cole, again, creating space after space, just into channels. and the, So the work rate off the ball, not with the ball, but off the ball as well, we're pleased to see. And again, I, I'll take that all day long because I think that we need to... We need to create... Um, we need to create the opposition trouble. We need to we need to create a bit of chaos, a bit of um, uh, ruffle of their feathers. So we've got to think about some time we're going to try and break us down. Yeah, when they scored, and you know, I think well about ten minutes to go somewhere like about just over ten minutes, and then when board went up for seven, I'm like, what the hell's going off here? Seven minutes. Yeah, what well, I know there's some substitutions and stuff like that, but seven minutes really. Um. And again, we saw it out. We knew that they were going to throw more or less kitchen sinkers, and we never, we never, we never once stopped 
not believing, I don't think. Credit to the fans what made it. Uh, there were quite a few winners. Made some noise. Again, a good away following for um, bad condition. I mean, I mean we're another kick off at 2, 2 p.m. But we're weathering that as well. But it were also great coming back, knowing that we're going to go into draw for next round of FA Cup. So for me, I'm going to do Sir Phillips. I thought to a my man at match. Kitchen in, in, in my shout as well. If you are saying comments below, I, I always um, like to know what you're. Uh, what you think about game? What, what you know? Your take on things, uh, the performance wise, the result wise, a, a certain player or players that you know uh, stood out for you, were pleasing for you. Um, be interesting to see. You know, would and again, also leave your comments below. It, we're in the next round of FA Cup. Would you want to be drawn at home, or would you want another away trip? Be interested. To, you know. But would you want another League One side? I, I think it's fair to say no, we don't. Because it feels like a, um, a league game. But having said that, if we take League One side and we beat them, we can kind of like back into other rounds and we'll, we'll take that all day long. But again, it's all about opinions. Uh, I've had my say, my thoughts about the game. I uh, all opened up. Great to see the bounds, the auspice logo on the front of the shirt as well. Another great gesture, which... I saw on Twitter a couple of days ago. I think it was what it Friday night, Thursday night, I think. And I saw it and I thought, yep, yeah, five parts of it printed on front with it all going to Barnsley Hospice. So again, wealth our cause. It's something what's close to my heart as well. Uh, obviously for family reasons and stuff like that. But a, 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 again, a great, a great thing to happen for Barnsley Hospice to be. Uh, on front at shirt with West, with Edith with Western Park, uh, again another great charity and stuff like that. But it's good with bounds community, bounds hospice. I'm going to be getting my shirts done, knowing that the money's going straight to bounds hospice for the for the charity. So uh, I'll look forward to getting that done. So yeah, thanks for watching. Have rest uh, a good weekend. I think it's been a bit better knowing that we're in next. Uh, in the at, so to say, for the for the next round at draw. And again, please keep an eye out. I will be doing a fake up special live with a guest on, uh, discussing all, all football matters and you know, and be watching out for his draw. Please like, subscribe, and share. I know you always do. Leave your comments below. One thing left to say, you reds.